again, and we'll also have some time at the end to answer uh, directed questions. Now, before we get in, um, I assume everyone is a Java developer, yes? And who actually actively uses Spring? Okay. Anyone on Spring 2.5? No. Spring 3.0? Yeah. 3.1? 3.2? Four O. Two people. All right. Okay. So we have a pretty big mixture there. Now the agenda. Um, we'll just start off with a kind of an overview of some of the major features we had in the three X timeline. So three O, three one, and three two. Then we'll step into the major themes in four O. Um, so four O, in case you don't, don't know, was released last December, and we're already up to four O three with four O four coming out soon. Um, then we'll talk a little bit about Java EE and SE support in Spring and the Core Spring framework, um, then moving on to some of the new support for Java 8 features in Spring 4. Then uh, at the end of the talk, we'll talk about some of the features that have already been implemented for Spring 4.1, and then moving on to some of the things that are up, um, up and coming. So quick review, the major themes in 3.x. Um, first up, um, lots of support for a new component model um, based on annotations mainly, so moving away uh, from XML even more so than in 2.5, um, things like um, annotated controllers, Spring at MVC, um, Java config, uh, composable, custom stereotypes, and things like that. Also, the Spring expression language. So, have you used that actually in your code? Spell, a few people. Okay, so dynamic expression evaluation. Also, comprehensive REST support for REST web services, adding the 3x timeline, and support for asynchronous uh, web processing in MVC with Servlet 3.0, and then moving on into 3.1. Beyond that, um, lots of support for things like declarative validation and formatting. We'll see um, a mention of that in a few minutes with some of the specifications. Um, and then, of course, scheduling was introduced in Spring. Um, there'd always been support for courts, but there's um, out-of-the-box support for scheduling directly within Core Spring and cache